on the travel later but it's good, and I was like why and he was like well we're not moving apparently this is what he considers to be like high quality film work sorry we're just sorry sorry being the film you're being it it's rubbish uh, so while we are on the travel later we've got nothing to do um, I'm from the stand here we're heading back to the boat yeah I think I have a sigh, slightly childish sense of glee and excitement at the thought of us returning to her Oh, so you should. We're returning home. We've been away for four months. We've just... Well, speak for yourself. I was anti up the other Oh, that's month. true. Yeah, no, that's true. But together. Yes. We're sleeping in our own bed tonight for the yeah. first time since November. I know. And get to have tortilla. And to Betha. And jamón. And more, more tortilla. Pimentos de Padron. And the uh, famous And, um... Anyway, you know, abondigas. <laughs> Abaringa. All right. We need to go. So after three months away from our beloved boat, it's time to fly back to Spain and start season four. And it will a fitting welcome home, Miley Cyrus. One hand for you, one hand for the boat. <laughs> oh. Home again, my love. Yes. Home. Home is covered in a layer of filth and grot. Yeah. All that work. Can I'm I... going first. Yes, my love. Oh, yeah, she's body. She's horrible. Yeah, yeah. She's a damn good clean. Scrub. I love her. I know, I do as well. You, so you get back on board, you forget how much I know, you absolutely... I know, and I just want to give her a big hug and just like... Well, we're here to look after her for the season. Exactly. Hey? Come on then. Come down to me. I'm going to go this way. Oh, it's just oh, so beautiful lovely. girl. All right, well... It is always lovely to be back, isn't it? Yes. It is always absolutely lovely to be back. Seacocks. Seacocks. <laughs> Seacocks, real cocks. Ah. <laughs> oh. Let's get some air in here. Yes. Okay. Yes. We're back. How's my cabin? It's all beds made. Ready How, to... How's my bed? Oh. Now listen. I'm going to go and sort the shore power out. Yes, and then yeah. the lights will be able to come on. The lights will come on anyway as soon as I put the isolator back on, but I want to turn the shore power on first. Okay. Okay? Let's break out. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! Yeah. I'm very happy. Once I get the shore power sorted out, I'll be even happier. Get all our systems up and running, okay? I think I got no, then we go supermarché, supermarché, supermarché. Oh, it's tortilla, supermarché. <laughs> bueno, es muy buena tortilla. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop it. Uh, now, now. Off you get. Take your phone. 
So what are you checking? Just making sure we've got electrolyte. I'm not running the bag, but you know, sometimes you get some evaporation. I want to make sure that we've got some, uh, we haven't got dry cells. Do you need to check anything else? No, I just want you to check the batteries. Make sure the batteries are all sorted out. Um, water tanks are full. I bought a new hose pipe before we left because the hose pipe was uh, afraid. Look at you, self-censoring. Yeah, I know. Water. Beep. <laughs> Season four has officially begun. Now we should have probably started with a beautiful view of us kind of sailing along in bright Mediterranean sunshine. However, we have this to show you instead, which is a view of our beautiful boat that was immaculately cleaned, polished and locked up for winter before we left, now looking something like a bring and buy sale, stroke car boot sale, stroke garage sale. Uh, and so I'm just going to show you around a little bit. There is the beautiful Teresa, <laughs> currently uh, threadling pillows. Yes. Um, putting our bedding back together, getting everything out of dryer bags, which are invaluable to uh, stop damp. They are damp. Damp. To damp. Stop damp. Exactly. Uh, and and also, we've sorry, got what like you... something very special, a new element to our cabin. This is our pride and joy. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't think it really goes with our decor, but it's so sweet I couldn't resist. All right, so anyway, so you have a puffing pillow now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like its little leg up in the air. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Okie dokie, so that's where we are. We have, uh, we, I think we bought back uh, cases and cases and cases of stuff and yeah, just kind of disgorged it into our boat yesterday. So. It is a lot of work. We've got a three days here today. We've got to finish off the anti fan. We've got to do some work on that. We have got to. I've got uh, numerous chores, and I suppose the thing is that while I have Amazon and online deliveries, it is so easy just to get all these little bits. So I'm going to run through all the different bits that I've just pulled out of cases and show you where I am. So, number one, we have these. These are syringes. Now, this is you no know, nefarious heroin based problem. It is to do with we've got some air voids in the gel coat. That is for injecting liquid gel coat into little holes. Um, I will try and get a technical Tuesday on that because I think it's really important because every boat has little air voids in. What else do we have? I don't know. Oh, in Santa's sack for naughty boys. <laughs> um, these are rubber end stops for the jib track. Ridiculously difficult to come by. Um, I have ordered, what's in this bag? LED lights for the inside of the compasses because I am fed up with using non-LED lights. So I've got to rewire the compass lights. It's a bit of a year. I have... Uh, this may actually excite you. Oh. It may not. It's the least excitable thing anyway. <laughs> in the world, I've got new stickers for the cooker. Oh, no, that does excite me. See, how did you think that your life would turn into this when I, I can know. buy you a set of stickers for a cooker and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> in addition to that, I've got new cooker parts. Um, I've got new um, knobs for the cooker. Because they- you want to everyone your I, No, knobs? I'll do that in a separate. <laughs> Uh, so the cooker needs to be serviced. I've got other little bits that uh, Perspex polish to get all the scratches in our Perspex. There's not a lot of Perspex on this boat, but some of the some of the little port lights will need a little bit of a polish. I've got a two-stage polishing system there. Drone, 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 drone. Not literally. No, not metaphorically. Literally. Filters. These, which are. I was black. I it was white. <laughs> it's every emo's wish. Uh, 
These are um, five meter zips for the Bimini. Um, now the problem with our Bimini is that uh, the zips, because they're made of metal, corrode. So I'm going to have to swap out all these zips at some point. So um, again, in just routine maintenance, anything that is exposed to anything to do with salt water does corrode. And I always thought this would be like a real kind of like, yeah, yeah, of course. But this boat is dry. When we were in Antigua, the, the, we left it for seven months and we came back to it and the, the chap in the yard said, this is the driest boat he's ever come across. So it doesn't sweat much. There's not a lot of damp in the air, but we do find little bits of corrosion inside and out. So we've got things like this. This is a rocker switch. The rocker switch is for the override for the keel. This needs to be changed out because the other one is sticky. So I ordered that from North Shore. In addition to this, something which, uh, what else have I got down here? Uh, where's that gone? Yeah. This, now anyone who's into, into uh, beer making or just being a bit of a weirdo <laughs> and tools, I ordered this online. These are and bottle brushes. Uh, I'm going to give all the piping in the cooker a good clean. So I'm going to take the take the the gas stove apart, give that a clean. That's part of my maintenance. Um, then in here we've got piping for the overspacker. That overspacker, someone asked, it's our diesel heater. I'm very excited about the overspacker being reinstalled. Oh, I hope it, I hope it works. This yes. is the overspacker. This is our diesel heater itself, which needs to be reinstalled. That's going to be a lot of swearing. Um, and numerous other little bits and bobs. So literally, we get a boat that's really clean, as I've said before, as soon as you get a boat and then you kind of like open a suitcase or open a locker, it's just like a jack in a box, everything goes everywhere. So we've got a few days of tidying. Um, we've got some work to do today and we will get this boat launched, hopefully Monday. Everything's okay, all our systems pan out, engine starts, no problems. Navigation stuff starts, anchor works, we will head back to Valencia Marina, but, we have gone from about 10 degrees in London yesterday. The high today is 26 degrees Celsius. So we will bask in the sunshine, go for our evening cervecita. And life is good. Nice job, you knobs. <laughs> this is seminal moments in arrival in Spain. My first pull. My first pull of a, 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 of a, of a cervecita. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Bueno. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I just want to get one shot of me drinking. Uh, I can't even get the simplest of tasks done. It's very exciting about being back. How are you, Alan? <laughs> And so after a long day of travelling, we're safely back on the boat. A good beer, a good meal, a good night's sleep. Tomorrow brings another day and we'll start getting Ruby Rose ready for season four. So join us next week as we finally launch Ruby Rose. Things don't go according to plan and we have this minor problem to sort out. Oh yeah, we're sinking. Hi. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. Cheers, bye.